you know that I have digestive issues. The whole world knows, I really. I talk about it all the time. <laughs> and since I am desperate to get things moving, I'm even willing to try yoga. Okay, it's true. As you know, watching the show backstage, anywhere in between, she talks a lot about, you talk a lot about your bowel issues. I do. Or lack thereof. The bowels are the fifth chair of the show, really. <laughs> So here are the poses that can hopefully help improve Lainey's digestion. The owner of the Chi Junkie Studio, Rochelle Winson, is with us. Welcome, Rochelle. Welcome. Okay, so Rochelle, we all know that yoga is known to be a great all-over body workout, but you say that different yoga poses can actually help you with all kinds of things, like detox, better sleep, even a hangover? Absolutely. So we all know that yoga is great to improve flexibility and help us de-stress. But what a lot of people don't realize is that yoga is actually really beneficial to help alleviate common stressors. Headaches, PMS symptoms, bloating. I mean, the list goes on. Okay, so you're going to show us some poses today that's going to help improve digestion. Is that right? Definitely. Okay, because I know that Lainey, she says she can use all the help that she can get. <laughs> and Lady not to worry, I have got you covered. We are all good. <laughs> okay, so before we begin, what do we have to keep in mind before we start with our poses? Yeah, so the first thing you want to think about is to do this on an empty stomach. If we're doing these things like twists and all these postures for digestion on a belly full of food, it can get uncomfortable. So empty stomach. And we want to make sure we're breathing. Right, key to digestion is de-stressing, relaxing, rest and digest mode, so big belly breathing. Okay, what about water? Water. How much water should you have in you? So the average person, two liters approximately for women every single day, mm -hmm. four liters for men every single day. Okay. And water is a key thing to help with digestion. You want to stay hydrated, keep all that water there. Okay, so let's get started with our first awesome. pose. Let's do it. All okay, right. so take us through. What are we going to do first? Okay, so the first posture you're going to do, you're going to come to sit onto your mat. Okay. And you're going to extend your legs. You're going to take your right leg and extend. You're going to take your left leg, cross it over your right. You're going to sit up nice and tall. Pull your belly in towards your spine so you get a great tall posture. You're going to take your right arm, wrap it around your left leg. We're doing a variation of a seated spinal twist. And then you're going to slowly rotate around looking over your left shoulder. How far are we twisting here, Rochelle? So just to your full range of motion. So whatever feels comfortable for you, you want to make sure you're not twisting from your low back, right? We want to protect our low back. Think of opening up the chest and then rotating around. And how is this helping? What's the benefit? Okay, so the best part about this posture is it helps to get rid of bloating. So by twisting, if you think of your insides like a washcloth, we're literally wringing out toxins and waste. Okay, so we would presumably do this to both sides. Exactly. Okay, so we we're want just to doing it for one yep. for television. Yeah, okay. exactly. Okay, so then our second pose is the knee to chest pose. Yeah. Okay, so what are we doing here? here? Come to lay onto your back. And you're going to take your right knee and you're going to draw it right in towards the right side. And again, two sides of the body, so you want to repeat this on the left side. And you're just going to hold the body and breathe deeply into the belly. On your inhale, you want to draw the belly as, wide, as big as you can. Think of a balloon or a Buddha belly. And then on your exhale, really pull the knee deeper into the chest. And exhale, pull your belly in towards your spine. Okay, what is this doing? All right, so this posture, what we're doing here is we're essentially cutting off the circulation. So that we release the leg, all this fresh blood and oxygen comes right into the area, helping to push out all the toxins and waste. So should we release? Like, am I holding this? So or you can we release releasing? the leg now. What you can do to take it to the next level is actually come into a little bit of a twist. So you can just guide the leg right across the body and just come into a gentle twist. Now, if our digestion is sluggish and we're not eliminating every single day, we can actually be holding on to up to 15 pounds of waste in our intestines. What? How much? Up to 15 pounds. That is gross. Crazy, so right? I, I'm actually, wait a minute, I'm actually 15 pounds skinnier than I am. 100%. <laughs> okay. Uh, <Right? laughs> Let me tell you something. You know where to find me in about an hour. <laughs> She's a convert already, Rochelle. So all these postures are going to help to flush out the waste. We want to just stimulate the digestive system. Okay, what's our next pose, okay. Rochelle? So the next pose, you're going to stay on your back. We're going to do bridge pose. So you're going to bring your heels closer in towards your bum. You're going to press your hands by your sides. Just relax for a breath. And then slowly lift your hips up. You want to make sure that your feet, knees, and hips are all in alignment. And just work on lifting the hips and then just relaxing. Again, five to ten deep belly breaths here and just hold. This feels like much more of a glute workout than anything. Absolutely. It's definitely going to tone your
tone your glutes. It's also going to tone your abdominal core. How, how long How long do we have to stay uh, like this? Five to ten belly <laughs> breath. You want to stimulate digestion. So how does that do that? Okay, so the posture here, the hips are elevated, right? So we're coming into a type of inversion. So all that waist is starting to loosen up. So when we come right side up, it's just easier for elimination. So shouldn't we be doing a little... No. <laughs> <laughs> so no twist and shout. So we want to oh, okay. keep stable in the posture because if we're moving around, especially our neck, it can actually set us up for injury. Oh, okay. But Don't one of that. the best things with this posture is it's good for your immune system, which is so key right now. When our digestion is sluggish, it actually weakens or suppresses our immune system. So this helps to stimulate your immune system, make you more, make you more not susceptible. I'm losing my word. Um, make you want to boost your immune system so that you're not um, you're fighting off colds and flu, okay, and sure. it gives you more energy. My butt is cramping. So yes, okay, really. Yeah. Let it go. Um, so this next pose, it sounds like something that could lead to uh, embarrassing wind relieving posture. Okay, like, so I, it's called wind relieving posture, but it's not as embarrassing as you would think. I don't want to go to that <laughs> yoga class. No, I'm just kidding. Of course I Wait, do. Wait, help us with this, because now <laughs> okay. downwind right now. So this is a good position. I could be for in me trouble. In. Okay, let's do this. All right, so come to lay on your back. You're gonna all you're gonna so easy. You're just gonna hug your knees into your chest and the same concept here we want to compress the knees deep into the belly and then take a big inhale breathe deep and big exhale relax you feel my exhale now <laughs> oh <laughs> so five to ten deep breath here inhale we're filling up the belly with breath so when we exhale drawing the knees closer in okay great okay so what is our final pose Rochelle all right, so the final posture we're going to do, you're going to come to onto your hands and knees. So you're going to bring your big toes together, and you're going to walk your hands forward. Your hips are going to stay elevated. It's a modified version of child's pose. Okay. And you're going to slowly drop the chest into the mat. Okay. And you can let the forehead relax. So wait, but it's, it's tush up, right? Tush up, tush yeah. Up. Hips Just elevated. And toes, and toes together? <laughs> and toes together. So it's a modified version of child's pose. So what the thing with this posture is, it's helping us to relax, coming into that rest and digest mode. And then the other great thing about this is it's, again, an inversion. So think of a snow globe. When you flip the snow globe upside down, all that snow loosens up. Same concept with waist. So you want to stay here and just try to be as calm and relaxed as possible. This wow. feels really good. It does it's feel good. It's also open up your chest, relax your shoulders. It's really de-stressing for a wow. lot of things. We've never had Lainey so quiet. <laughs> While she's doing that, Rochelle, I wanted to say a big thank you for joining us today. Thank you. Thank you. We've got all of these poses available at thesocial.ca after the show. So get to some yoga. We're going to see you after this break. That's great.